frightful costs for your fall favorites from pumpkins to candy prices are soaring to scary new heights just in time for Halloween. Maggie Vespa tells us what's behind the inflating prices and what it will take to bring us some relief. I like pumpkins across the country. <laughs> As Halloween creeps closer, pumpkin prices are reaching scary new heights. It trickles down from gasoline to food prices to everything to even as simple as a beautiful pumpkin. At Gobert's Farm, west of Chicago, those iconic orange gourds up 10% as the cost of growing them grows. The biggest issues raising the prices right now are more things that we can't control, such as fertilizer pricing, uh, seed costs, labor expenses. Of course, shoppers, while spooked, have been carving room in their food budgets for months. But the rising prices are going beyond the pumpkin patch. With the record pain of summer inflation stretching into fall, it's driving up prices of holiday staples and delivering a fright for your wallet. The cost of Halloween candy, turkey, eggs, even butter have all increased by at least 20% compared to last year. To save on your shopping list, experts say start price tracking your favorite ingredients now. Stores often put out Thanksgiving staples weeks in advance, opening the door for you to snag them when you see a sale. But how long will these high food prices last? One clue rooted in America's heartland where fall harvest is underway. It's just kind of luck. Yes, it is. Oh, it's all luck. Mother Nature's the boss. Lifelong corn and soybean farmer Dave Kestel is lucky. His yield is strong, but nationwide he worries drought and record heat could cause crop supplies to take a hit. You don't ever want to see another farmer miss that rain or um, or have a bad storm. So far, some crop yields are low. Corn, in particular, was hit hard by severe weather. But the full impact is not yet clear. The good news, experts say farmers are planting more, which should eventually help balance the squeeze of inflation. You know, you're looking at, at things like 10, 15 percent uh, reduction in price next year. Industry insiders say to keep costs down and spirits high, consider going generic, which can save you up to 25 percent compared to name brands. And don't shy away from canned or frozen foods. They'll last longer and give you a bigger window to find a great deal, all providing relief to the pumped up prices of those beloved pumpkins.